So the fused RPC lymphoma is an aggressive lymphoma which is potentially curable. Therefore, the accurate diagnosis and treatment is extremely important. The stakes are pretty high. However, it's not a one diagnosis. It has multiple molecular subtypes. And the right choice of the treatment depends on the molecular subtypes of diffuse B cell lymphoma and making diagnosis correctly in the first place because diffuse B cell lymphoma can overlap or look similarly to other lymphomas. The access to state-of-the-art diagnostic procedures, a pathology review, molecular workup, and the treatments, in, sometimes in the form of clinical trials, is really a critical to improve the outcomes. In the setting of aggressive lymphoma, like diffuse third piece of lymphoma, you need to expedite this process as well, because this lymphoma without the therapy is progressing quite rapidly. And importantly, only about 60% of the patients will be cured with frontline chemotherapy. And even in the patients who have relapsed in refractory disease following the initial uh, treatment, uh, there are expanding number of treatments which can accommodate patient needs and also improve the duration of remission and the outcome. At Mayo Clinic, we have a whole range of therapies varying from typical chemotherapy, which would use this setting, through cell therapies, uh, which are CAR T-cells, which are very involved, even to uh, stem cell transplant and, and bone marrow transplant. We have a um, number of new agents which treat uh, diffuse B cell lymphoma much more effectively than we had done it in the past. They are much better tolerated and much more effective. It's a very exciting time in the treatment of diffuse B cell lymphoma because of the ability of new agents and drugs, uh, which we did not have just a couple of years ago.